Luke here with CatsandCarp.com. Today we're catching, cleaning, and cooking snakeheads, and we're using lures and live bait. Well, it's 2.30 in the morning, and uh, me and Tommy, we're going fishing for snakeheads. You ready, Tommy? Yeah! <laughs> oh, it hurts to be alive right now. <laughs> Let's go fishing. Yeah. All right, guys, we made it. We're here at Blackwater Adventures in Cambridge, Maryland, and we are going fishing for snakeheads. And I've got Tommy with me, and we've got Matt here, and he is going to be our guide today, and he is going to make sure I don't do anything too stupid, <laughs> which is really good to have that oversight of my life right now. Surface so, drive mud motor, man. Mud Look motor. at that so thing. So this thing is air cooled. It'll just about run on with no water, straight yeah. mud which around here you need because it's nothing but shallow, muddy water. We're gonna be targeting snakeheads and I'm gonna be throwing lures and we got Tommy gonna to be throwing live bait here. So we're gonna cover the spectrum and see if we can't get something here. Bald eagle right there, a the little nest right there. It's early. I mean, this looks like three, four feet deep, right? Yeah. And this is yeah. high, high tide. Yeah, hot, yep. Yeah, well, this is what snakeheads love, man. Love Shallow and marshy. Yeah. These northern snakehead we're after, they're an invasive species. They're from over in the Asia area, and they're a really popular game fish over in China and Japan and Southeast Asia. Delicious, they are ferocious, and they are fascinating. They love shallow, marshy, low oxygen water. And they're loads of fun to catch on topwater lures, but they'll hit topwater, they'll hit at bottom stuff, they'll hit live bait, and we're gonna fish with a variety of different techniques and see if we can't hook up into one of these awesome little monsters. All right, got a little spinner bait here with a little paddle tail. Let's see what we can do with that. Yeah, you. All right, so we got an anchor just dropped off the front real quiet, and then the push pole sunk down in the mud and tied off there. So it's basically we got two anchors, keeps us nice and rock solid. This big bullhead minnow on there. We call the we call these snakehead destroyers. And you got like a big crappie crappie hook or yep. a little two aught. Yep. Little two aught. Got some steel leader. Yep, steel leader. So if I just take it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. This is a little minnow called a mommy chog. Your basic light action combo yeah. from. That's it. Yeah. There you go. Basic. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah, absolutely. So when that bobber goes down. We're gonna let him swim away. We're gonna let him take it and let him really eat it. All right. Now, how long do you let him chew on it? As long as possible. As long as you can stand it. <laughs> just let him, let him swim away with it. And just let him take it. Now, do you do catch and release, or does this all take him home? So we can do either. You're legally allowed to release them in the same body of yeah, water, yeah. what you call it. Whatever you guys want to do. If you want to catch them and take them home and eat them. That's what I would suggest because they're really good. Yeah. Josh Green. Call it. Oh, a little bite. Uh, might, might have got hooked up. Oh, Woo! you see that middle one? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Ooh. Yeah, boys, we got a fish. See, the bobber disappeared, Tom. Bobber. So go ahead and start reeling it in. Now back. And it gets tight. Then you go. Okay. Rah! It's tight right. now. Strike it hard. There you oh. go. Fight, Tom. Oh, did he get off? He keep... he got oh. off. He got off. You touched your first snakehead. We're going to get another one. Oh, yeah. He took that and it was making tracks out that way. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. didn't quite get. Yeah. yeah had the moment got him. Talk, not the hook. Had him. Got him. Yep. He took him, though. No. Next time. Okay. We got a nice bite, saw a bit of action, but it's kind of cooled off. So we're going to keep moving and see if we can't uh, get hooked up here before the sun gets high. Kind of putting the little fish back in the live well there, and we're going to move spots. Let's put it up here. We're going to get you a snakehead. Yeah! Human plus Zilla. Oh, you hear that sucking noise. Oh, well, that bobber's going down. Going down. Look at that. 
Just kind of let him go. Yeah, you see that bobber right there, Tom? Yeah, it, it, it went down. He definitely got pounded. Got a big one. Nice. Yeah. Yo, got a doubler. I'd hit that. Yes, sir. Yeah, Tom, look, look, where, I, where, look where I'm pointing. Oh, yeah, Tommy, Tommy, get, get up, get up, stand up. Grab this rock. We just saw a big jump right there on the bobber. And he was moving and dancing. Looked like he might have bounced off. The weather's been really hot this last week. We've been in the 90s a lot and the humidity's high. And this has put a damper on the fishing everywhere. But it's just amazing how many fish are in this spot. I'm sitting here watching them roll and I've probably seen, what, half a dozen snakeheads roll or jump or something right here since we pulled in. I mean, there's a lot of snakeheads in here, which is really impressive. If you're looking to target specifically snakeheads, this is probably one of the best places you could go. Got a couple hits, but not feeling it. We're gonna go try another spot. <laughs> See guys, you don't have to go to Venice to ride on a gondola. Look at this. You want me to sing for you? Can you do Baby Got Back? Here's that, that's oh, yeah. good. Oh, yeah. yeah, Tom, Tom, oh, yeah. get oh, here, yeah. get here. Yeah. All right, Tom, all right, look at him, taking that line. All right, Tom, here you go. Okay. So reel it in. Now look, Re I want you to set that hook hard. Okay? Reel it reel it when it's tight. Go ahead and reel it in. When I tell you, jerk it hard. Okay, when that line is tight, I want you to give it a hard jerk, okay? We want you to yank it back. Okay. Okay, okay keep going. Keep reel, keep reel, keep reel, keep reel, keep reel. Keep reel, keep reel. He's running. Is oh. that the one? Wait a minute here. No, no. Oh, yeah, no, no, it one. was it. It was it. He, was he, it. he, he took it all the way out there. He took it all, but he looks oh like he's letting gosh. go. Oh. Tom. Oh. What happened to him? I looked over my shoulder and just lines just peeling off the spool and the bobber is nowhere to be seen. He's just gone off like 20 feet to the right. But as soon as we tightened up, pop, bobber's up. I don't even think he ever even felt any resistance. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Yeah, he's, he's, go, 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 Tom. Pull it, 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 Oh, he snagged up. Oh, see, see, snagged he, he, oh, no. he snagged up, but I think he's on still because the bobber hasn't come up. Do you want to chase it? Okay, I looked over at the bobber just in time to see a snakehead hit the minnow so hard the snakehead came completely Wait, came out up. of the water. Reel it, reel it. Oh, I just saw the bobber. Yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness, that was one of the coolest takes I've ever seen. I look up and I see a snakehead come up and hit that minnow so hard that the snakehead comes completely out of the water, free willy style. And he takes that and just shoots off and then jumps completely out of the water another two or three times. And just, you could see him there, but he went and wrapped himself around something and got a little bit of a snag. And we were just going about to move the boat to go try to undo it. And all of a sudden the bobber pops up and he's gone. Oh! Tell me, did you see the fish jump? Yeah. What, was it cool? It was cool. <laughs> Ooh, right up tight. Let me know. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh my daddy. goodness. Oh yeah. Daddy, daddy, daddy. daddy. Yeah, yeah, come daddy over come. here, buddy. I oh, woo! I caught it. I caught <laughs> one. I caught <laughs> So that's took the buzz bait. Yeah. So that's nice. what snakehead looks like. Look at the pattern on him. He's a beaut. <laughs> there we go. Woo! He came flying out of the water. These guys are acrobatic, man. They're just crazy. <laughs> Maybe slightly below average size one. Is that about you, right? This is a long, he's not very fat. You can see that he hadn't been feeding a whole lot, but he's definitely got good length on him. It's a nice fish. Here, Tom, hold up your fish. He, they've got some serious power. We were just dropping the snakehead in the cooler. I look up and the bobber goes down and Tommy grabbed him and reeled him in. Look at that guy. Mm -hmm. Oh man. He yeah. going, is he going back? Yeah, he's, he's going back. He's, he's going back. You've get I don't like to kill children. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, we're against that too. Yeah. What? You ready to see this missile? Yeah. You ready? Ready? Three, two, Watch one, more. Oh. I'll tell you what guys, this is an unusual fishery. There's a lot of places that have snakeheads here in the Maryland, Virginia area, but there's few places where you can target them like this. Most of the time you just kind of incidentally catch them while you're bass fishing. Here, there's just everywhere. 
Oh, there's a bite right there. Oh, we just got a good hit. The bobber just went whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. We're gonna see if he, he picks up again. Oh, these snakeheads know how to toy with my heart. These turtles keep stealing our minnow. I know what you did. Don't play stupid. Yeah. Another bobber disappeared on us. Here's your rod. We're just gonna let him swim with it a minute. Okay. All right. You want me to help you set the hook? Yeah, I need help set. Okay, setting let's start. When it's tight, I'm gonna help you set. So keep your rod tip low so that we got a lot of, keep, keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling, reeling, and strike. Keep go. reeling real hard, right, fast, 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 fast as you can. Fast as you can. You got it. I knew it. You got a little fight. Oh, oh you did. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. You know, that's probably why we're missing on those hits is we probably. got some babies. We got some babies. Probably. Well, he looks like he's about re he's rigged up for, for a bigger one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we just took him right overboard. <laughs> yeah, he's ready to go. Let him go. You want to let him go? Yeah, sure. I Mom will go. appreciate that. Here goes, here goes the rocket. Bye, bye, bye. Look, isn't, he, isn't he pretty though? Look at that. They are. I think they are pretty. They're they're pretty. pretty. I mean, they have a, they're... Do you know I have an idea? Oh, we can't get one off the hook. We should. The whole, yeah, one of the snakehead's teeth broke it off. Look at that fang. Yeah, that's cool. Those things, that is messed up. Those things are sharp. We've been getting a lot of action putting two Wait. live minnows on the same hook. So uh, we're, we're, uh, we're doubling down on that technique. Far end one. This, this. Okay, put your rod tip down so we have more room to swing right it. Up against that bank. Okay, we get a little, little tighter, 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 a little tighter. And set, there, there we go. go. There you go. Oh, is he hooked? Is He's got in the reeds. Snagged. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Okay, okay. Oh. Let's. Oh, we might have to go oh. in there. Oh, yeah, I can see the reed moving. No, he's off. Is he? We're going to switch out to a strawberry lime sunrise here. Lovely flavor. Um, that's more oh, that is the flavor of the day. Oh, that's it. That's the color. That's a hefty. <laughs> that's a hefty one. Oh, <laughs> there, we go. there we go. Woo. Oh, well, there you go, guys. Just switching color up helps. All right. Well, let's do it. Hey, just like a pirate, slit his throat, yep. bleed him out. I just heard one jump in. I gotta tell you, these snakeheads are fun to catch on a rod and reel. They seem to do one of two things. They either jump crazy out of the air or they run bat crap crazy into the first snag they find. So either way, it's exciting. <laughs> Green. You like that chartreuse color, huh? Yeah. Look at that. That's right. We've had good action here, but we're gonna go try one other spot before we have to call it a day. I have to though. Yeah. Well, we're pulling up to the new spot. See slithering going on right over there. Which a good bit of people do too. I don't, I don't envy on that. There we go. Oh, yeah. that, didn't, that didn't take long. First cast. All right. Nice. Woo. The pink. That, that peak like sunset, man. <laughs> That's it. You know, first cast, they just nailed that pink and green. My theory is that the pink and green reminds them of a margarita. And with the weather being so hot, that's what the snakeheads are looking for. You know? Captain, I think the next fish. Well, this has been an awesome day. We've seen so much action, loads of hits, lots of fish rolling, and I've got two plump snakeheads I'm taking home with me and we're gonna cook them up. If you wanna do this, check out Blackwater Adventures here in Cambridge, Maryland, and I'll put a link in the description to their website. These guys do normal guided trips like this. They do kayak rentals and they do kayak fishing trips. So if you would like to catch snakeheads from a kayak, they do that as well. All right, time to clean our catch and filleting snakeheads is super easy. Check this out, guys. Pass the ribs. And then you just stop short right there. Okay, flip that over, separate the meat from the skin. All right, there we go. Four snakehead fillets, we're gonna throw them in the cooler. I go home and cook them. I'll tell you what guys, I do a lot of charters and this was one of the most entertaining ones I've done in a long time. It was really fun and it is very affordable too. I think I'm gonna come back here and bring Becca and we all do like an eco tour, fishing guide combo thing or something. But man, these guys are really affordable. Anyway, I gotta get home and uh, cook some snakehead. We're home.
Alba. All right, guys, I'm back at the house with my boy Jacob here, and we're gonna cook up some snakehead. And I'm gonna use a recipe I've used a couple times before because it's my absolute favorite. We're gonna make coconut crusted snakehead with mango sauce. Does that sound tasty? Yeah. Yeah, it is. First things we need to do, we need to make the mango sauce. I've got the Naked Brand Mango Puree here, and we are gonna reduce this and make a really nice thick mango sauce. We're gonna simmer this until it's nice and thick. All right, for the coconut crusted snakehead, you need all purpose flour, eggs, sweetened coconut shavings, and breadcrumbs, also called panko. You do one part coconut shavings to one part panko. Mix it up really good. There we go, 400 degrees. Well, there we go, looking good. Sauce is looking nice and thick. All right guys, there we go. Coconut crusted snakehead with mango sauce, a slice of dragon fruit, and some salad. Not too shabby if I do say so myself. Oh guys, I gotta tell you, this is delicious. Snakehead is one of my favorite freshwater fish. But if you guys like these catch and cook videos, definitely check out my catch and cook playlist. I'll put a link in the video description. And don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning. Thanks for watching guys. Mm.